Denmark have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs, but if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So we're up and running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, David Alaba, one of the most versatile players out there. He's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence, he can basically do a job anywhere on this pitch. He's got fabulous technique too, especially with his delivery in and around the area. He'll be eyeing up any set plays the opposition concede in that defensive third. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise... Chance! Goal! Denmark! There is the breakthrough! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well worked finish too. Denmark have an early lead. Good start. Alaba. Forward it goes. That's the throw. to get it forward quickly shoots he's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot and that is a huge moment in the context of the game it's not taken him long and that's going to be a booking well the players are pleading but it's not going to convince him to change his mind now well i think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score and obviously he's not going to allow that peter is he Michael, he has missed it. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to equalise, but now he'll feel like the opposition have just scored. It has got has a hit, and now Tomic finds himself offside. Kasper Schmeichel gets it up for Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Gets on the end of it. Hoiberg. With a delicate ball. And that's going to be a goal kick. Fine run, and he's happy to keep going. This could fall anywhere. The ball's loose, and he's after it. And they've been caught out here.
and the counter is on. Can't get the better of his opposite number. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Hoiberg. Delaney has set up one goal so far. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Hoiberg goes through the middle. Could move up a gear here. Now it's on Naltovic. Finish. The odds were against him, little matter. And I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Denmark get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Lovely feet. And here's the chance to counter. Hoiberg. Arnautovic, he's had a shot, it's a goal! Back within one, they have them in their sights again! No space, no problem, you just cannot stop him. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Deftly done. That's gone a long way up and away. That is terrific skill. Now, surely... He has given a corner. And out to safety. Hoiberg. Vass. That intervention was very necessary. Hits one! Another big chance that gets away. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Repelled by the keeper. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Decent progress down the left. I'm more than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, that is going to be the final action of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to get a little in it. The score at half-time is two goals to one. 
We're probably into the second 45 minutes. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. Going through. Over it, cut. Great leap! Good delivery, no joy. Austria can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Out for a throw. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Hoiberg. Nice. Hoiberg. Nice. And helps available out wide. Defending of the desperate variety. That'll be a throw in. And it's Ericsson. Out to the left it goes. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Ericsson goes short. Lovely bit of skill there. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. It's anyone's ball. Delaney. He's there to end the shot. Disappointing finish in the end. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. Place it over to the other flank. He's awarded a free kick. He's had a go! Keepers relieved to see that disappear wide. Oh, and it's such a good effort. Maybe the target really should have been hit. Delaney. Austria have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. Hoiberg. Tries to locate someone up front. And he just whacks it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ronaldovic. He's managed to get that all wrong. Ericsson. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see.
And here's Arnautovic. He's good for it! Oh, that could cost him. Oh, he can't hide away from how important that was. Hoiberg. Just brushed off the ball there. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. It's Heiberg. Vass. In it comes. Denmark certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And it's been taken straight back. Beautifully done. It is just a question of running down the clock now. And that will be the final act. Denmark always by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? When you get free flow.